Good morning. This is Dr. T. F. And I'm just continuing with my uh, lecture on R programming. And today we'll deal with uh, data manipulation in R. Okay. So basically, data manipulation in R is done by a package called as DPLYR. Okay. Uh, I have already installed this package. In case if you are wondering how to install this one, you go to the console part and you click on this command install packages this is the general command to install any packages uh, within this double quotes you can just put whatever the package that you want to install okay so install dot packages and between this double quotes you just put dplyr whatever package you want to install just press the enter key now that will install the package to your uh, ide so once the inst installation is over you need to you look to the line number one where you have library of dplyr so this library function is going to invoke the package that's been installed before so let's run it now this uh, dplyr package has been invoked to your ide so with this you can just continue and you can use the functions that you want to uh, you know uh, achieve using this dplyr package okay that is the data manipulation kind of functions okay so what i'm doing in the third and fourth line is i'm trying to have a variable here movies that reads from this csv file so i already created a csv file that contains a movie list with their ratings and their production title and everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read that file and i'm going to view that particular data frame okay so let's run this I'll just resize this one so that you can see what is there in that particular data frame. So this is a data frame movies. You have the title, the genre, the studio, the production, the ratings, the scores. Okay. So it has a total of six columns and 20 rows. So this is what we have in this movie data frame. Okay. Which is got from a CSV file. So let's uh, continue uh, by watching what the four functions of dplyr does okay the first function is the filter function so what the filter function does is it is going to select certain rows from this particular data frame so what i have given here in this first line that is in the sixth line is that i am having a mcd variable that's going to take the filtered values of from the data frame movies with this genre field as comedy or drama okay i repeat so mc is going to take the filtered value from the data frame movies from the genre comedy and drama so we are using a logical or operator here okay so even if it's a comedy or a drama it's going to take the line number seven is the same as line number six i have given in the comment session here so here we are trying to use uh, an in operator here with the concatenation of comedy and drama okay so you can see from the movies here a lot of genres like horror documentary drama comedy action adventure and everything so if you see clearly there are uh, 15 of these movies have uh, uh, the genre comedy or drama okay so let's execute this one six and seven i repeat are the same i'm just re-executing it okay so do not make any error so this is the resultant data frame we just have a 15 rows there exclusively those movies those are drama and comedy okay this uh, one uh, small word of uh, trivia or caution here this is not actually the right you know uh, uh, data from the internet i've just given it a random one uh, we all know that the famous shoshan redemption is not a drama and the godfather could be a drama but uh, it, it is just i've given the saving private train is going to be a war movie it's not a drama but just for experimental or kind of lab purpose i've given this one okay but it's doing a purpose it's just filtering out the movies which are drama okay and it's giving it to you so that's the filter thing the second function within this package dplyr is an arrange package so arrange function what the arrange function does it's 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 going to take two 
fields the first field is corresponding to the data frame movies and the second field is going to be the arrangement to which we are wanting to make this particular uh, you know uh, data okay say for example we have here movies again and we do have an imdb rating which are rather shuffled suppose you want to uh, sort it in ascending order we can use this arrange function okay so that's what i'm doing it here so just sorting it based on their imdb rating or internet movie database rating okay just resize this one so we can see here the lowest rating is coming at the top and the highest rating is at the bottom here so it's just sorted out with the imdb rating okay we can also make a descending order of uh, arrangement of uh, this particular table by using a dsc function in the field okay so again the arrange field of dpl is used but there's a small dsc uh, uh, change i have made in the field rating to arrange it in descending order now let me run it again so now the same table is been arranged to the descending sorry the, the descending order yes so the topmost rating 9.5 is at the top and the bottom most you have uh, 3.6 the other arranged sorted out values are there in the middle okay that's how you can do an arrange function next is a select function uh, with filter we can filter out the rows that we want to with the select function in dpl yr we can filter out the columns that we want to suppose i want to select only the studio column you can see this this has many columns like genre imdb rating critics score audience score and studio i just want to have a studio column here i can just use this particular select function here so it only selects the studio column here okay let me run it so now you can see you can see all the rows here but you don't see any columns like any ratings or anything it just filters out the studio column only. okay so that's what is given here in this movies dji function and finally you do have a mutate function where you can try to uh, you know mutate or add new variables that are the functions of existing variables so you are trying to add a new variable diff score which is which equals the critic score and the audience score differences okay so you are putting a minus operation on this two and putting in diff score and a new row i'm sorry the new column gets added here so in other ways you're just mutating uh, two fields and you're producing a new field here so first of all i'll show the existing one existing one you just have a rating critic score and audience score now by using mutate function we're going to add a new column which is going to have the negative value of this two okay let's run that one as well yes you can see there is a new column added that's the difference of critics and audience score to the existing data frame so to sum it all up we have installed dplyr package at the start we can invoke by using a library function as you can see in the line number one then you are reading a csv file from your working location then you are invoking four functions that are instrumental in dplyr okay in such a way there are number of uh, packages available in r but here in dplyr you have four major functions by filter you can filter out the rows in any data frame or in any table by arrange you can arrange in any order that you want to either in ascending or descending by select you can select the columns that you want to select by mutate you can add any new columns by mutating to a, mutating means by uh, some kind of arithmetic or logical operation between other columns okay so that's it folks about uh, dplyr and its functions Feel free to drop in any comments, suggestions, queries or anything you want to in the comment section. And meet you in the next video. Bye. Take care. Stay safe.